My name is Adam Walker and I'm swimming the hardest seven oceans in the world. Okay, so the hardest seven ocean swims in the world are English Channel, which I think we all know, Gibraltar Straits, Molokai Straits in Hawaii, Catalina Channel in Los Angeles, Suguru Channel in Japan, and North Sea and Cook Strait in New Zealand. Now, let's take a look at my life and I thought, what have I done? What have I achieved in my personal life, in my business life? Am I happy with what I've done? And if I'm being honest, no one likes to be honest about these things. No, I wasn't. I wasn't really happy. And there was this bugbear of mine. I was thinking, okay, what am I actually capable of? Now, what can I do? And I didn't know what that was. Why is how capable you've been? Or did you know you would always be able to achieve this? I don't think you'd know that you're going to achieve these mm. things. When I started, I hadn't got any open water experience. I hadn't swam in open water Gosh. at all um, as a kid. And uh, I was on a plane, um, watched a, a movie about guys from the channel. I thought, I wonder if I can do that, the English Channel. Oh, I must be mental. When you're swimming in the open ocean, you need to be prepared for just about anything. But when long-distance swimmer Adam Walker... Long-distance swimmer Adam Walker... Adam Walker... Adam Walker... Adam Walker... British long-distance swimmer Adam Walker... A British man hoping to become the first swimmer to cross seven open ocean channels can check another one off his list. I say, really, it was just torture. <laughs> it was Portuguese man of war then, now in New Zealand's Cook Strait. Spin uh, flew towards me, uh, straight in my headline, and then went underneath me. Anyways, that shark starts swimming uncomfortably close to our protagonist when nature ups the ante yet again and provides salvation in the form of a pod of ten dolphins. Bottlenose wonders surround Adam Walker and create a flipper force field of aquatic mammalian proportions. Adam just kept on swimming and the pod of protectors flanked him as they playfully breached the surface and occasionally shot into the air, almost as if to say, hey guy, I'm your guy. My hands are pulled because they were just so close to me and uh, I thought, what, what an incredible experience. I looked down and realized the reason why there was a shark underneath all the, the dolphins. So. Distant swimmer Adam Walker was on this charity swim off New Zealand when he realized a great white shark lurking beneath him in the water. Just then he got another big surprise, this one a much better one. A pod of ten dolphins surrounded him until the shark eventually swam off, those dolphins seeming to protect him. Funny enough, Walker was swimming to raise money for dolphin conservation, and I was actually, um, I was amazed that, that sharks are afraid of dolphins, but apparently they don't like the noise yeah. that dolphins make, so that was a really yeah, nice... the convoy was so I great know, and they stayed with him, him for an hour oh. to make sure he was okay. How nice might have known. I know. Yeah. I dolphins are smart. <laughs> Through the last six years, of believing, believing if I can do this, I can do anything. And then when I get the customers moaning at me now, saying, oh, no, 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 you didn't deliver that on time, I think that affects me now. I've been stung by a box jellyfish. <laughs> so, you know, it puts things into perspective. Now, I really believe things that you do outside of work can help you in your, in your life and your job. Yeah. You can get every dream you want, but you've got to be dedicated and you've got to want it.